Adventures. Hey guys, Chuk here from Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Well, I wanted to do my review on the new SIG P365 AGX Legion 9mm. Uh, it was kind of funny, when it first came out, uh, I had my choice of um, you know some more less expensive new releases and one from edc alaska messaged me and said hey i got that you know i got that legion you know you said you wanted one and i was like oh yeah awesome how much is it and he was like oh it's 1350 1350 dollars and i was just like oh forget it that is ridiculous and i was kind of upset about the price uh a couple months have since gone by you know we're a couple months into 2024, this, I think this was released around SHOT Show, and uh, the other day Juan told me, yeah, I still got that Legion for you in the back. I, I figured you would probably want it, and I was just like, oh, God, okay. I, I, What can I say? I am a Legion fan. I know I've kind of talked some smack about SIGs. The P365 platform is actually pretty solid. There was only a couple rare cases where it didn't go off unintentionally. It just didn't go off when you pulled the trigger, tactical considerations has, has it documented on film where he pulled the trigger and it did not go off and then he moved like that and it went off. So there's been a couple cases of that happening, but I think it's pretty rare. I've, you know, I've had a macro. I thought it was great with the compensated slide, um, but I'm just a real big fan of the Legion and it's hard to deny that the Legion is taking over. Uh, before it was like the Glock 43X and the Glock 48, and so many variations of these are being made. SIG just does it right. They had the SAS and the AGX and just a million different versions. Uh, the macro, of course, was the big evolution. And now they've got a Legion version of the macro. And this is everything that I want in a pistol. And I, I just cannot resist it. And I have to admit, I'll do another video later on with a full comparison. But I did compare this pretty closely with my 43X and I had to choose this over it. So we're gonna take a close look at this. We're gonna take it to the range and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. All right, so here's what I got with the Legion. You get the nice injection molded case and three magazines, which I feel should be an industry standard. Unfortunately, some companies are still only giving you two magazines. So this is safe. These two magazines are full. Uh, I'm gonna put them to the side. But th the most amazing thing about the macro line is 17 round capacity in this slim little pistol. It is in the Micro 9 category, but it's got the elongated grip. And the only company that has done magazines better where they kind of fit a stack and a half, just packing so many in these tiny little magazines is the Springfield Hellcat but these come close because you, you just have such a small footprint. These are just teeny little mags. And of course, this is in the macro frame. So you've got the expansion chamber, they call it. So it's a integral ported slide there. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. We're gonna take a close look at it. Now I did put a Siley optic on it. And one thing I like about the branding of the Legion is in this plate, they got the Chevron. I don't know if you can see that. It's the little kind of V thing there. Um, and I have a Siley cat on here and I haven't had any problem. I just got so many of these. I gotta get that lint out of there of these Siley red dots that uh, they just keep zero and do well for me. So we got the X-Ray 3 night sights. I always thought it was like a special nitron finish, but I read that this is like their gray Cerakote that they did. But I, I just love the Legion color. I love the Legion design. And what they did is they married that P365 AGX with the grip panel, the G10 grip panel, in with the, the Legion Cerakote and color and all alloy frames. So this is an all metal gun. Now what I wish they would have done is completely redesigned it and made this an all metal hammer fired, you know, harken back to the days of good old West German SIGs with the P229. I've, I've got an old 
West German solid steel P229. That's probably one of my favorite pistols. It, it, you know, on par with an HK, I feel. But boy, they did a good job. Even the magazines have the, the Legion branding. I just love it. They got this aluminum magwell. The trigger is not bad. I did a video of the trigger, but yeah, no big complaints. Um, hefty for a small little pistol, but it's only 26 ounces with the magazine. A little more loaded, but uh, it's such a small package that it, it's really comfortable for carry. And I have this VersaCarry kind of hybrid holster. Um, and you see these are bent like that. I got it at a cant. So even with the 17 round magazine, this is pretty thin. I wish they would have made it a little thinner. It's 1.4 inches at its longest width. They did a really good job with the controls. Thank goodness uh, you can switch them back and forth and they're not ambi. So that cut down on a little bit of the thickness, but this is probably the thickest part right here. 1.4 inches, still very slim. And I am able to carry you know, full size capacity, 17 plus one, 18 rounds with a cant. I can carry this even in the summertime in a t-shirt. No problem. Conceals so well. They just did such a good job with this tiny little platform. So it's got a stainless slide, carbon steel barrel, and it does make a difference. Um, not as much as they say, but you do notice a difference with the ports helping with recoil as well as the weight the all metal frame i mean there was just no comparison shooting this in my 43x so it was great it was kind of weird there was some uh, white gunk inside on the slide that i cleaned off so i wanted to give it a fighting chance before i would just shoot pistols right out of the box but i did take this apart and you know, scrubbed it down with some solvent and lubed it up a little bit, but not a single malfunction. So I'm going to be shooting it some more, but just a pleasure to shoot. So much fun. Let's roll the range footage. Now I did take it apart, scrub it out a little bit, had this weird white gunk in it. Not sure what that's about. The slide feels a little bit more slick now. Um, but the mags are super hard to load. It took all my strength just to load the mag, but we're going to see how it does here at 15 yards. Wow, hit steel my first shot. Wow. Very nice. Man, I'm giving that two thumbs up. I love this pistol. Not a single malfunction either. Very cool. Wow. Oh. oh, okay. It locked back. That's it. It's that grip angle. Wow. Well, there you have it, folks. There's just two things that I don't like about it, and that is the mags are so stiff when you get it that it's very difficult to get the last 17th round in there, and it's very difficult to rack the slide. And then my other complaint is the price. $13.50 is a little too high for what you're getting. I wish they would have made it more affordable. Um, but uh, they know that suckers like me will buy it just because I'm such a Legion fan and uh, this is such a great pistol. So this is gonna be my dedicated carry probably for a while until something better comes along. But honestly, I, I don't know if anything better than, you know, that's this thin in the Micro 9 kind of elongated category. So I'm giving it two thumbs up. It is on the pricey side, but I, freaking love this pistol. Let me know what you guys think. I'll have more videos next week. It's Chook, your friend in the field. My name is Chook. I like to trade my guns just for fun, but now I have none. Oh, look at Chuck my bear, but I don't care. I got a 10 millimeter. Chook's out of adventures. Why don't you almost die every time?